This is the new 4.0 version of MindLab Pro, one of the most popular nootropic supplements on the market. MindLab Pro was designed to enhance all aspects of your cognitive performance, and its effects have been confirmed by hundreds of thousands of customers, and just recently also by clinical trial. But the question is, can this new version beat other nootropic stacks? And is MindLab Pro still the best all-rounder among the brain supplements? Well, I've analyzed the updated formula I tested the product, and in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about MindLab Pro 4.0. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg, and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics, and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. When I first heard that there's the new MindLab Pro version coming to the market, I got really excited. Not because this supplement would need an update, but because they had the same formula, the same nootropic compounds for years. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with that, but with the recent development on the field of nootropics and based on many new studies and better understanding of nootropics, I have to admit that competitors started catching up with their nootropic stacks. But did they manage to catch up? Or is MindLab Pro still one of the best stacks on the market? Well, before I answer that, Let's talk about the new version of MindLab Pro, the benefits, my personal experience, how this new stack competes with similar supplements, and then finally at the end, my verdict. By the way, just so you know, my team and I are not sponsored by MindLab Pro. Even more, we have developed an independent review system with a smart algorithm that automatically ranks all supplements that we review. Now, just before we look at the new version of MindLab Pro, for those who are unfamiliar with this product, now, this is a dietary supplement designed to boost your brain performance. It contains eight potent nootropics and three crucial vitamins that work synergistically. Now, the first version of MindLab Pro came on the market in 2015, and I believe I was actually the first one who published a review of their initial product. But since then, the formula improved a lot. Not just that, I was recently informed that MindLab Pro was used in a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial conducted independently by Leeds University in the United Kingdom. Now, the study hasn't been published yet, but according to Dr. Andrea Utley, who was conducting the study, the results of the initial three-month study are impressive, and the degree of statistical significance is huge. Now, I'm still waiting for the study to be published, but the initial data looks very promising. Now, how good is this 4.0 version compared to the old one? Well, let's first check the benefits you can expect by taking MindLab Pro. By the way, guys, have you ever tried MindLab Pro? And did you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, supplementing MindLab Pro can increase your mental energy, focus, attention, clarity, memory. It can support brain flow and even help with brain regeneration and neuroprotection. Besides, each individual compound provides multiple benefits and they synergistically enhance your brain performance. But which are those nootropics and what's their role in this nootropic stack? Well, first we have citicoline, a building block of neurons and a precursor of acetylcholine, a crucial neurotransmitter for memory, learning and attention. Then we have Bacopa monary, a potent adaptogen herb that improves memory, offers neuroprotection and may help with anxiety. There's lion's mane mushroom. This is a great nootropic for neurogenesis, cognition and to reduce inflammation. Phosphatidylserine is the only nootropic with the FDA-approved claim for reducing the risk of cognitive decline. In addition, phosphatidylserine improves attention and processing speeds, but may also support memory. Then we have N-acetyl-L-tyrosine, and this is an important amino acid that may enhance cognitive performance and memory when people are under severe stress. We also have L-theanine. This is an, another amino acid that promotes relaxed attention and focus. Then there is Rhodiola rosea, an adaptogen herb that reduces cognitive fatigue and helps with stress, but may also improve cognition. Then we have maritime pine bark extract, a potent antioxidant that may boost cognition. And last but not least, there are three important B vitamins for optimal brain function, vitamin B12, B9, and B6. Now the question is, is this formula really effective and how does it compare to the old one? Well, first the ingredients that are in the stack are amazing. 
all have been proven in multiple scientific studies to affect your brain health and performance in one way or another. And there's no doubt about that. The quality of ingredients is also amazing. Manipro contains a few branded compounds like Sharp PS and Santhianin, but also other non-branded nootropics are of high quality. And this is something I'm very picky about. But there's one potential issue, the dosages of the ingredients. And to explain that, let's compare the new 4.0 version to the old one. Now, when I was informed about the new Mindlab Pro version, I honestly expected that they will increase the dosage of Bacopa Moneri, also called Brahmi, and that they will either increase the dosage of L-tyrosine or exchange it with another compound. But what actually happened quite surprised me. So the formula stayed exactly the same as the previous one. There's not a single new nootropic in the supplement. And trust me guys, I compare both formulas multiple times to see if I'm really saying this correctly. But yep, the 4.0 version is basically the same as the 3.0 version. Or is it? Well, if you look more in detail, you can actually spot two important differences. The first one is that the old formula contained Cognizin, a branded version of Citicoline, but the new one just contains Citicoline. And the second difference is that the old version contained a Bacopa Moneri extract from the whole plant that had 45% of bacocytes, while the new version has a Bacopa Moneri extract from aerial parts with nine bioactive compounds, but only 24% of bacocytes. When it comes to citicoline and cognizin, I don't believe that that makes any difference in terms of quality. As a matter of fact, I actually reached out to the cognizin manufacturer in Italy who told me about the production challenges due to the pandemic. So many brands actually switched from cognizin to standard citicoline just because of that. But when it comes to Bacopa Moneri, I'm not really sure which extract is better. The new one has a lower amount of bacocytes, similarly to other premium quality nootropic stacks, but it does contain all other bioactive compounds. Sadly, I don't have enough data about the old extract to be certain which one is better. But just so you know, both extracts are really high quality. So what does that all mean? Well, this new 4.0 version is basically pretty much the same as the old one. There really is no upgrade to it, but also no downgrade. Now, I assume that this change happened mainly because of the supply reasons. But the main question remains, is this nootropic supplement still the best in class? Well, just before I answer that, let's look at my experience with Mindlab Pro. By the way, do you wanna know how well does your brain perform? Go for a free brain assessment, link in the description below and get your brain performance score. Now, I've been sporadically taking Mindlab Pro since 2015, so I have a lot of experience with this stack. I've done multiple tests ever since, so I know exactly what to expect from taking two, three, or even four capsules daily. Now, even though this formula is the same as the previous one, I still decided to test it for a few days because, you know, we're talking about supplements and you can never be sure how your body reacts to them. So I'm about to try mine the Pro. Now the recommended daily intake are two capsules and that's exactly what I'm gonna take. Uh, you could take more, you could take up to four capsules per day based on the ingredients and the dosages of those ingredients. Uh, but I always recommend starting with uh, two capsules, see how they work on you, uh, see what kind of effects you get and then based on that, you decide whether you're gonna take two capsules, maybe even one, or maybe if you're gonna increase the dosage. So yeah, let's try Mindly Pro and see what happens. So it's been about 45, 50 minutes since I took two capsules of Mindly Pro, and right now I'm starting to feel some effects. So I'm slightly more focused as I was. I'm also calmer and more present, and that's what I can actually feel. Um, now, Mindly Pro won't probably give you a strong energy boost because there are no stimulants in it. So if you want to get a stronger boost, then maybe take it with a cup of coffee or take some caffeine in capsules or whatever you prefer. Uh, but yeah, you will definitely feel, or you should definitely feel more focused, more alert, more present um, after about 30 to 45 minutes, in some cases after about one hour. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. After two weeks of taking Mindlab Pro, my performance really started improving again. Now it's important to note that nootropics like Mindlab Pro don't necessarily deliver a very strong short-term boost, but the longer you take them, the better you're going to perform. For example, based on the studies, Bacopa Moneri only boosts your memory 
after about six to eight weeks of supplementation. So if you decide to buy MindLepro, keep on taking it for a while to get the most out of it. Now, when it comes to effects, during the first few days, the effects lasted for about four hours or so. But after two weeks, I already noticed an improvement. So the effects lasted probably for about five plus hours. As I said before, the longer you take it, the more you can expect from it. Now, just before we compare MindLepro to other nootropic stacks, I want to share two important things with you. First, the recommended daily dosage are two capsules. Now, it is safe to take more, and if you can afford it, I would take three to four capsules daily. But with two capsules, you should get most of the benefits. Now, I recommend taking the capsules in the morning, about two hours after you wake up. Oh, and do take them with food. When it comes to side effects, this is a very safe formula. And honestly, I don't know a single person who had any issues with MindLepro whatsoever. But as I always recommend, do consult your doctor before taking MindLepro. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, I promised you we are going to compare MindLepro to their top competitors. Now, there are many competitors out there, but two seem to stand out, Qualia Mind and Alpha Brain. Compared to Qualia Mind, which costs about double the price, MindLepro offers similar long-term effects, but its short-term effects are slightly weaker. Qualia is the more comprehensive nootropic stack with 28 ingredients, but it is slightly riskier for the long-term use, it is way more expensive, and you need to take five to seven capsules per day compared to the two capsules of Mindly Pro. Now, Mindly Pro has the cleanest scientifically proven formula, and it only contains proven ingredients that deliver the promised effects. Qualia Mind does contain a few under research compounds. So, which one is better? Well, it kind of depends on you. If you want a great nootropic stack, safe for long term supplementation that delivers exactly what it promises, then, of course, go for Mindly Pro. And if you want a bit more advanced stack with stronger short-term effects, but a stack that needs to be cycled, and of course, if you can afford it, then go for Qualia Mind. Now, how about the comparison to Alpha Brain? Well, this comparison is much easier. Alpha Brain is a great stack for mainly short-term use. This means if you only want to be more focused and have more mental clarity for a few hours per day, then Alpha Brain is definitely a great stack for you. But Mindly Pro is superior to Alpha Brain. It delivers equally strong focus and mental clarity, but when it comes to long-term performance, memory improvement, and overall brain health, MindLepro is definitely the better stack. Also, quite a high percentage of people suffer from adverse side effects when taking Alpha Brain, so MindLepro is the clear winner of the two. Now to the verdict. Is MindLepro still the best nootropic stack in class? Well, let's look at the facts. It contains top quality compounds, which are well-dosed, with maybe one exception, the formula is super clean. There are basically no fillers inside. It is soy-free, allergen-free, synthetic additives-free, gluten-free, caffeine-free, vegan-friendly. It contains prebiotic capsules. It is verified by third-party tests. An ongoing clinical study shows promising results. And, well, it comes in a recyclable packaging. Now, one bottle like this costs about $69. But if you order multiple bottles, you will be paying only about $52 per bottle. So the price performance is still there. Now, it is true that MindLepro had an amazing opportunity to increase the dosage of Bacopa, and they didn't do it, which bothers me a bit. But at this price, it is basically impossible to get an equally effective, safe, and powerful nootropic stack. MindLepro was designed for professionals, entrepreneurs, and students. And if you fall into one of those groups, then this is definitely a product for you. So yes, in my honest opinion, MindLepro is the best nootropic stack in class. And if you want to try it out, there's a link below in the description. But if you want an even stronger and more powerful nootropic stack, then definitely check my review of Qualia Mind. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.